If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You could be who you are any day of the week. Here, welcome back to um, GSA Forever. So, in the last chapter, chapter 21, 3 in the afternoon, um, apparently they slept for until 3 in the afternoon, and Carly came to get Jay for what reason we don't know. But here is the um, last time, here's the last part. You're much ruder than your brother, she giggled. You talk you you talk to him? I asked. Jay and I exchanged glances and shrugged. She nodded and smiled, showing her teeth. Yeah, he's nice. Now come on, Jay. Sheesh, calm down. I pulled Jay into a tight hug and laughed softly against and he laughed softly against me as he hugged me back. He mumbled against my shoulder. Tell me what's tell me what was wrong later, okay? I nodded and he kissed my cheek. Chapter 22. So, virginity? Jay's point of view. If I knew what you... If I knew that you were just having sex for the last hour, I would have come way earlier. Carly smirked as we both strapped in our seatbelts on. We weren't having sex, I snapped. My eyes went wide, not expecting that to come out like it did. She turned to look at me. I was just kidding. You know I do that. You were half naked, though. Look, I just want you to be safe. She shrugged and offered me a warm smile. From what? I asked. From giving away, giving away something that you can never give back when you don't know if you're going to be with that person forever. She shook her head and started the car. Um, I looked down. I think Drake already did it. She nodded. She nodded slowly, avoiding my eyes. Are you not surprised? Are you not are you not surprised or I looked down and confusing? A lot of people make mistakes. Did he tell you that you that he did? He trailed his fingers on the wheel. She trailed her fing she trapped her fingers around the wheel. I shook my head no, it's just when we were, um, you know. He got all weird and upset and he kept saying I was innocent. I shrugged. I don't know, maybe. I was at the party where I think he was talking about it. You know, the party I when I, I went to when I was a freshman, and I called Mom because I was scared of all the drunk people. She looked over and nodded. Mom, she always used to tell us to call in a bad situation, and then she'd, be, she'd get us right right out then of them. Well, I saw him there, and by 1 in the morning, he was 
he was going upstairs with the girl. Are you sure it was him? There would have, that would have been three years ago. She, she waved at my thought away with her hand. Not many people I've seen have a big smile or laugh like hers, like his. Plus, he yelled his name out of the whole group of the party. I assumed he was drunk at the point, but not knowing him, and I'm not so sure. She smiled giggling, lightly and giggling, and he's an odd one. How long have you known about this? I frowned. Why didn't she tell me earlier? I suspect it when I, when I first saw him. But after being around him, he was pretty. I was pretty sure of it. I didn't want you to be disappointed or something, especially because you guys weren't even together yet before I completely realized it. I'm sorry for not telling you. I shook my head. No, it's okay, really. I don't mind. I don't mind so much. I love him just the same. I kind of wish he would have told me, though. She began to drive through the neighborhood, just comfortable about it. Ask him. Just confront him about it. Ask him. She shrugged and smiled. You're an understanding person. It'll be fine. But be careful. He'll probably be sensitive about it. I would be. I turned my head towards her, and she was moving her eyes around, trying to focus her attention uh, on anything she could. You aren't a virgin, are you? I. It was more like a statement, but I was hoping that it wasn't true, and she hadn't kept it from me. She shook her head. It was a mistake, Jay. It happened at the party I took you to. The blue eye, the guy, as you called him. She smiled weakly, then continued. He was really drunk, but you already know that. I started I started drinking because I thought I would have some fun. But until he handed me something that made me drunk enough to do it with him. She shook her head. You were right about him. That wasn't good enough for me. I smiled softly at her. You deserve the best, like I've always told you. There was a long silence that... Besides the humming of the engine. Why why did you want to hurry home anyways? Well, for one, you kind of live with us, she smiled. But two, we got, we got a call from the fucking police in the middle of the night saying Drake was at the station. She brought the car and uh, I followed her to the door and opened the door for her. She gave me a look. So, what happened? You did say you would explain later, you know. This is later. I closed the door behind her and told her everything about Drake being happy to see me and how he was waiting for me to come to him. How his dad threatened to hurt the both of us if he continued to see me. How his dad came in late at that night drunk and how he we hid in the bathroom. I left, I left out the part about the glass bottle but then continued about how the police came and took his dad away. I watched her eyebrows come together in a mix of focus and concern. I allowed her, I allowed her to let me know when to continue. So, so, we went to bed, she winked at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I woke up and he was gone. It was three in the morning-ish. I think... She nodded and I went to tell her about not finding him and how the house, it took ten minutes to stop, to, to step off the porch. She found the fear of the dark as amusing. I told her about some stranger chasing me and how it ended up to be Aaron. Who sent? Who was sent to make sure I was okay? She smiled and mentioned his name. What? I asked. What? What? You have a crush on Drake's brother? I, I, I stated, pointing a finger at her. And she rolled her eyes smiling. Her smile suddenly faded. Wait, he's not gay too, right? Uh, I don't think so. He doesn't seem to like me. Maybe by at the most. I said. I shrugged. Ah. Uh, she nodded. Better not be gay. I sighed. Anyways, Aaron led me back home, and once we got there, we chatted a bit, and then he went. Then he went to bed. I didn't want to give it, give away his addictions. I don't feel right about doing it. Maybe Carly felt the same way about knowing of losing, of Drake losing his virginity. I wasn't even sure what he was addicted, anyways, or why he does, or why he does it. I assumed to forget about what he did. What he didn't want to deal with, like an escape, and then Drake came back around six. I woke up at three, and then yeah, she nodded and she nodded slowly and looked down. Carly, you're gonna find the perfect boy. I smiled gently at her. I promise. She smiled and pulled me into a hug. How how'd you know? I was still thinking about that. I tightened her, my arms around and returned. You're my sister. I said smiling. Well, I hope ye I find him too. Maybe I've already met him. Who knows? She shrugs as I pulled away from the hug. Oh my gosh. 
So, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think, um, do you think Drake and Jay are ever gonna do it? We're getting really close. We have, um, the next chapter, and then the chapter after that, and then the finale. The last, chapter 24 and the finale apparently will, um, there's the finale, the finale, the last chapter and the finale apparently will be the same thing. The only problem is, I think, if, uh, as I was skimming through the book, while I was writing all this down, writing down the names of the chapters and the chapter names, um, there's not really much engagement about what exactly is going... Um, I believe there is a continuation of the story, but from Aaron's point of view. I think, I think there's a, I think there's, there's a spin-off of this story that has a lot of the same characters, but I think it's mostly centered around the character Aaron, Drake's older brother. So, I'm not sure if we'll do that. But, as far as I'm concerned, I know we're not doing that. Now, um, when we finish that book, we are going to be doing something just a tad different. I know you guys probably won't like it, but, um, I'm doing this. Um, so, when we go back to that book, um, we're going to be reading a new story called New Beginnings, and that is the sequel to The Football Player and the Emo Boy. I know I've never finished that story, but New Beginnings apparently is good, and, it, and the story just keeps getting better, and I think it'd be better if I start that book, because then I can actually read a book that actually I like. I don't ever want to read My Sister's Boyfriend, because that book is so freaking messed up. There's so much, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of sexual activity in that book, there's a lot of censored stuff that I probably don't, I don't even know if I can even put it up. I probably have to say skip to the next chapter, or I probably, and another reason is like, I don't want to do that, and I want to put age restriction on my videos. So, and I don't really put age restriction, but that book is so fucking out there, that book series, there's four books. And it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. Literally every single book is more weird than the one before that. So when it gets to the end, it's literally like drug and rape. It's fucked up. So besides that, besides that point, but I do want to bring up something in that book that I know is not true. I don't think this could happen. So in the ending of the first book of My Sister's Boyfriend, apparently... The boy who is in love with this other guy apparently dies from the guy that raped him, that kidnapped him. And then apparently um, the boy kills the guy that raped him. Then goes to bury the boyfriend's body. The boyfriend's body is not there. Apparently two people got killed at the same time. Their souls travel to each other's bodies. They apparently live and then they go on with their life. I don't think that happens in real life. If you guys know something about that, that probably does not happen. But I don't know. So that's how that, bro that's how that book is fucked up. So, yeah, I went on a long, a long time. So until next time, gay is okay, just ask that you guys say, mwah.